All right, we're going to run this garbage. Um, this is absolutely pathetic, how this thing is driving. I don't even know how anyone is getting it sideways. Um, if anyone self-spins, they're just absolutely trash. Uh, this is... This is so disappointing. Like, I think NASCAR heat probably feels more realistic than what this does. So... Uh, what do I know? Yeah. There's only one additional set of tires for this race. Just, this is I racing. They do something right, and then they completely fuck it up. That's just it's how they've constantly ran. That's why we lost dynamic track forever. Um, it was fine for the last however many seasons we had dirt trucks. And now we are pretty much driving on pavement. Uh, you can just smash the throttle out of the corner. No wheel spin. You can't even pitch the car. Um, so disappointing. So, And of course I'm slow as hell because nothing of this makes sense. So you have to figure out how to drive it like a game instead of common sense dirt racing but uh yeah here we are back of the pack and uh, i'm sure it's gonna be a shit show i didn't even want to bother with downloading a open setup so we're running the fixed series and i don't even know if i can do 50 laps of this i've turned the force feedback all the way down to 1.5 to try to help me uh brake bias is 40% and we're just going to dip that down to 37% now since you can go 3 more percent in, in car. And I am going to be grumpy as we do this and I'm sure we're just going to see people plowing through each other as I've already been plowed through in practice. So, here we go. Very stupid. Nose just plows. Show your road. There is a car on the high side. You're in the middle. Three wide. Still there. Inside. Still there. Inside. I. Still inside. This is sad. You have to just. You either drive it in and just no lift, or you smash the brakes like it's a Pro 2 light. But you can't even like hold that yaw. It's just so tight, and it's not even setup. Setup should never be able to do that. And we just had someone self-spin and do it in front of everyone and get plowed. How the hell you can even pitch it that much? No idea. So now we get a pace around, and. The most realistic feeling is under caution. So, uh, Dirt Bristol, because the uh, the track is made for NASCAR, you can get a meatball flag and disqualified, and you have to do multiple, like five laps of pacing. Um, so, in case you run it in a dirt series, it is going to be different than all the other tracks. You only have to go down your pit lane, I believe. And, uh... God, I don't even want to run NIS tonight. Like, the way this is feeling, like... Why not just run the paved version? There is nothing dirt about this other than the color. Yeah, this is going to be a very, very bitchy 30 minutes or however long it takes to get this stupidness done. Pit road is closed. So, um... Caution laps are counting, I hope. They should be. 
yeah, very disappointing. It's it all comes down to real drivers not being able to translate what they feel in real life to in game. When they're missing that seat of the pants feel, then they think that it doesn't have enough grip. And so when they add more grip, then we get this shit show. And, uh, yeah, it's just unfortunate. But, we'll, uh, we'll get through this week, and, uh, yeah. Just so disappointing, because it was perfectly fine when it came out, and then they just ruined it for what appears to be TV. And if they're going to do that, we should get the shit for free. Come on, guys, you can just flat foot it. Trying to figure out how to pitch it. I can't do it. I just can't drive it. Nothing natural works. And I'm not going to sit here and learn how to drive it like a game. And then be completely crap in normal dirt cars. It's just... Like, look at that. <laughs> I like, really? We're gonna see, we're gonna see trucks flat footing it to halfway through the corner. I might as well just start wall riding. I don't know. I'm not worried about it. We'll get through the cup race and hopefully crash on lap one, and, uh, I mean, fuck, just try driving through the slick, maybe it'll turn a bit. Let's try to find some speed, do everything wrong. Everything I can think of. A whole bunch of braking on corner entry. Big lift doesn't even turn it. You just essentially got to go in the slick and then it'll turn a bit. So we're just going to drive through the part that should have no grip so that it actually turns. The yellow flag is out. They want you in single file. Pit road is closed. Sorry. Pit road's open. Okay. Fucking idiot. <sighs> Just damage yourself more. Good job. All right, get me out of this race. This is just not enjoyable at all. Car four got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. Almost to halfway. Let the four carbine.
I just so disappointed in this. Could have been a slightly fun week, but just needed something. Yesterday I felt like complete crap, so I didn't do any racing and doing this over the lunch hour because there was nothing else going on. But yeah, I don't... Nothing dirt-wise works to get the car to turn, so... Just, uh... Close, very close. sad move by iRacing. You have to understand real-world feedback from people that don't... They're, everything they rely on is the feel of the car that they get underneath them. And when you take that away, everything feels like it is too loose or you know they don't they just can't translate it and so then we end up with this so you got to take what they say with a grain of salt the people that can actually give you decent information are the people that do both often you know Josh Berry Bernhardt people like that that actually understand what sim racing is and uh, have real world experience. So. And everyone got small riding. Inside, inside, I mean, clear inside, car inside, this is NASCAR inside, heat. Clear. Inside, That's all this is. Clear inside, 20 point like, what I am seeing is just NASCAR one. heat. I'm not even turning the wheel to the right. Low car up high. Caution, yellow flag. Line up, single file. Closed, pit road is closed. This <laughs> is so pathetic that... Ugh. Well, we're at 0x. No idea what everyone else is at. Don't even know if we're on... It looks like we're on pavement X's, so the car contact will be 4x. It's just a bunch of idiots running into each other ahead. This is one of the reasons I never touch C-Fix, but with them ruining dirt, I uh, didn't care. It was going to be a shit show no matter what, so that is how we're going to do it. Left us five, car bike. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. I just, I don't know. I'm going to be very surprised if this is how the cars look and drive. Because Eldora, for the past however long, has felt right. And looked exactly like what you got on TV. So that's why I don't understand the change. Like... We have the data. We know the times. You shouldn't be gaining a ton of speed from a tire change to add more grip. 
I think close, the biggest close, thing close. is their ability to add grip without taking away tire spin. And there's something in there that's never worked in any of the tire models. And so that's why you have issues with the paved sprint and uh, some other things where you just, you don't get the uh, tire spin like you should. So then you have too much grip. And if you don't have the grip, then it's sometimes too much tire spin, like the uh, paved sprint, where it just does some really crazy stuff sometimes. So it's always been an issue on the lighter cars, and now it's an issue on these on dirt. But I think a lot of that is due to that real-world feedback that has limited sim experience. I'm just going down to the bottom. That way I don't get smashed into the wall. And I can kind of miss whatever happens. I mean, it's all the same. It doesn't matter where you go. There is no driving technique. It's just go around the corner like it's a paved car. Shit, even in the slick I'm pushing up. Big ass fucking break to get it to rotate. No throttle control required. Looking for a tear off. Car outside. But yeah, if you say it's unrealistic and someone is fast at it, they get angry about that because they want to believe that they're good. But it's essentially, this is essentially like being good at Madden. This has no transfer to real life at all. You go drive it like this in real life, you're going to end up dead in the wall. Oh, we're up to 7th. And it's nearly over. Sorry, normally I'm a little positive, or at least just negative about my driving, but uh, this is just, this is stupid. Car six, got the lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. May as well just do track mania full throttle, turn it as hard as you can, don't let the car actually hit the wall, I mean, if we're trying to make it easy for everyone. I mean, you can tell that there is no tire spin, because the straightaways aren't even getting chewed up. 
so we're not even doing much to out of the corner. Like, at least with the uh, wingless and everything else, you can see the straightaways really get tore up. And, uh, yeah, you can tell that we have zero tire spin, no matter how much you smash. Which is great that um, the straightaways aren't just automatically getting tore up. Because it's kind of annoying to see them slick off as much as they do at some tracks. But the reason they're not is because there is no slip at all from the tires. One to go, next time by, line up on the inside, 44.01. Ten more to go. About to go green, stay focused. Car is off. Be ready. Green, green, green. Fourth gear start. Not good. Just checked out under that caution and was not prepared. Alright, well, we're in fourth now. Not where I want to be, though. Because now we're just going to get smashed into the wall. Alright, well, here's where our race is going to end. I feel like I have a much cleaner truck than everyone else, but maybe I don't. Good news is this weekend F1 starts and first two practices this morning looked like uh, it's going to be maybe quite a bit of uh, parity across the teams. Um, McLaren's looking extremely strong and uh, Mercedes kind of struggling for grip. So. Hopefully that means we'll have three teams at least contending a bit. And then the mid-pack's always amazing to watch and see who gets the advantage that week. Pit Road is closed right now. Five laps to go. We're going to have to do two more of these restarts, aren't we?
Just hope I can get to the bottom. That way no one can push up and slam me into the wall. One left to green. Line up on the outside. 45.428 Get ready, going green. Ice car is in. Yep, this guy got a horrible start. Alright, I'm done with this shit. Fucking joke.